Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the Cantor Publishers video lessons. Before starting the lesson, dear students, you must have with you class 8 English textbook. We are going to start our lesson from unit 4, a day in the life of a Chinese school student. SLOs of this lesson are recognize and demonstrate function and use of infinitives. You have learned the concepts of infinitives in your previous class too. So, in this lesson, we are going to discuss the use of infinitives. What are the infinitives? Page number 57 of your textbook. Infinitives. An infinitive will almost always begin with to, followed by the simple form of the verb, the first form of verb. Like to plus verb is called infinitive. For example, to sneeze, to smash, to cry, to shriek, to jump, to dunk, to read, etc. As an infinitive is not a verb, you cannot add s, es, ed or ing to the end. Infinitives can be used as nouns, adjectives or adverbs. Like the examples here, to sleep is the only thing Alia wants after her double shift. You can see the Use of to and the first form of verb, the simple form of the verb sleep. So, this is infinitive. To sleep function as a noun here because it is the subject of the sentence. Start me aara to kya hai? Subject of the sentence. Se pure sentence ko jo lead karta hai, wo apka subject hota hai. No matter how fascinating the biology dissection is, Aisha turns his head and refuse to look. To look function as a noun because it is the direct object for the verb refuses. Refuse kya hai aapka? Verb hai. Aur iske liye kya hai? Ye direct object hai. As a noun act kar raha hai par to look. Aapka infinitive to look jo hai. As a direct object kaam kar raha hai verb ke liye jo ke refuse hai. Wherever Madhya goes, she always brings a book to read. In case conversation lags or she has a long wet. To read here is a infinitive. To read function as a, an adjective because it modifies the book. Book aapka kya hai? Noun hai. Or noun ko modify kya karta hai? Yes, adjective. Rashid suffered through the rain to throw the smelly fish out of the apartment. To throw function as an adverb. Because it explains why Rashid suffered through the rough weather. The adverb of manner here. Recognize an infinitive even when it is missing the two. An infinitive will almost always begin with two. Exceptions do occur. However, an infinitive will lose its two when it follows certain verbs. These verbs are feel, hear, help, let, make, see and watch. The patterns look like this. Special verbs plus direct object and plus infinitive too. The examples are as soon as Tariq felt the rain splatter on his skin, he knew that he had a good excuse to return the lawn mower to the garage. Here the felt is the second form of feel. So, this is a special verb here. The felt is a special verb. The rain is a direct object and splatter is a infinitive but the 2 is missing, minus the 2. You don't have 2 here, but the splatter is infinitive. Ren is the direct object and fell is the special verb. When Daud heard the alarm clock buzz, he slapped the snooze, snooze button and borrowed under the cover for 10 more minutes of sleep. Heard is the special verb, alarm clock is the direct object and buzz is infinitive minus the 2. Although Mr. Rami spent an extra class period helping us understand equations. Helping is the special verb. Us is the direct object and understand is what? Yes, infinitive minus the two. Because Farooq had never touched a snake, I removed the cover of the cage and let him pet my seven foot python. Let is the special verb here. Him is the direct object and pet is what? Infinitive minus the two. I said a prayer when I saw my friends mount the roller coaster. So is a special verb here 
and my friends as a direct object and the amount is infinity minus the 2. Hoping to lose her fear of flying, Sarah went to the airport to watch passenger planes take off and land. But even this exercise did not convince her that planes were safe. Watch is a special verb. Passengers planes is a direct object taken in infinitive minus the 2. So let's have an exercise of it here. Combine the following simple sentences into a single simple sentence by using an infinitive. The first one has been done for you. Look here. I have engaged a private tutor. He will teach me to he will teach me English. I have engaged a private tutor to teach me English. आपने क्या करना है टू सेपरेट सेंटेंसेस दिए हुए हैं आपको आपने उनको जोड़ना है किस चीज से लिंक करना है एक दूसरे से रिलेट करना है इन्फिनेटिव लगाकर टू लगा सकते हैं आप आई लुक आउट ऑफ द विंडो ऑफ माई कैरेज आई वॉन्ट इट टू सी द ग्रीन पेस्टर्स हाउ यू विल चेंज इट यस आई आई इज लाइक यू कैन सी द आई एंड आई हैव इंगेज अ प्राइवेट tutor he will teach me english i and he here but the private tutor here and the he here is the same person we replaced it with the pronoun he the second is i looked out of the window of my carriage i wanted to see the green pasture how you will change it yes i looked out of the window of my carriage to see the green pastures i wanted ko apne hata dena hai बिल्कुल आई लुक आउट ऑफ द विंडो ऑफ माई कैरेज टू सी द ग्रीन पेस्टर्स द थर्ड वन द प्रपोजल इज क्वाइट अनरिजनेबल इट कैन नॉट बी एक्सेप्टेड हाउ यू विल चेंज इट द प्रपोजल इज क्वाइट अनरिजनेबल टू बी एक्सेप्टेड यस टू बी एक्सेप्टेड द फोर्थ वन हेयर My mother was very much delighted. She had heard about my brother's safe arrival. How you will change it? इसको आपने बिल्कुल she had को आप हटा देंगे. My mother was very much delighted. Mother और she तो आपका एक क्या है pronoun है हमने she का use किया है mother और she एक ही person के बारे में बात हो रही है. My mother was very much delighted to heard about my brother's safe arrival. टू आपने लगा देना है बाकी आपने शी हेड को रिमूव कर देना है फिफ्थ वन ही वेंट टू द यू एस ए ही वॉन्टेड टू पर्स हायर एजुकेशन देयर ही वेंट टू द यू एस ए टू पर्स हायर एजुकेशन दियर ही वॉन्टेड को आपने रिमूव कर देना है ये आपका सेंटेंस बन गया एक द सिक्स वन ही इज सो वीक ही कैन नॉट वॉक विदाउट हेल्प ही कैन नॉट को आपने हटा देना ही इज सो वीक टू वॉक विदाउट हेल्प टू लगा देना सिर्फ कुछ सेंटेंसेस में आपका टू पहले से लगा हुआ है जैसे कि इसमें इसमें और कुछ में आपने खुद ही ऐड करना होगा इन्फिनेटिव बनाने के लिए बाकी के फोर सेंटेंसेस आपने खुद करने हैं दिस इज योर होम टास्क फ्रॉम समर पैक दिस इज ऑल्सो योर होम टास्क फ्रॉम समर पैक एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव एन एक्टिविटी हेयर मेक अ लिस्ट ऑफ द पर्पज यू वुड लाइक टू फुलफिल फर्स्ट यूज आई वॉन्ट टू विद एनी फर्स्ट फ्रॉम अ फर्ब to describe those purposes and then change the subject with any other instead of i activity karni hai agar koi confusion hai aapko is lesson mein to aapne kya karna hai dobara se rewatch kare isko textbook khole apni usko padhe samjhe jis tarah maine sentences ko change kiya uske procedure ko dekh rahe hain kya cheez remove ki hai repetition ko jo hai humne bilkul hata diya hai pronouns ka jo use hoga tha wo hata ke humne seedha to laga ke infinitive वर्ब उसको बना दिया है आई होप यू विल डू योर होमवर्क एंड एंजॉय माई लेसन थैंक यू